looking at the economic and environmental implications of trying to produce liquid transportation fuels from algae. And so we're, I'm working with um, several different groups and what we're trying to do is build a comprehensive model using a variety of economic and other quantitative tools to assess the environmental impacts, um, the potential energy production, uh, some of the political issues that go along with it, and then of course the economics, how, you know, how much is it going to cost per gallon, for example, and how much would a um, prototypical production facility cost? I mean, what's the capital cost? How much venture capital would you need? Um, what are the revenue streams looking like? Is it profitable? Is it not profitable? Under what sort of scenarios um, would it be possible? And can we make it something viable for the state of New Mexico and for the country? The modeling process starts with all the science. And so you talk to the biochemists who tell you, well, it grows this fast and it takes this much to grow it. And you need this much water, you need this much input. And then you talk to the engineers. You say, okay, well, what goes into a pond? So if you're looking at an open pond system, what goes into a pond? Well, you have to dig a hole, you have to line it, state of New Mexico, you have to line it, environmental regulations. Um, you have to put paddle wheels, you have to use air spurters, you have to use harvesting equipment. I mean, there's all kinds of things. You have all of these capital costs. And so there's, it's, I call it um, E3, energy, environmental, economic. So really what I've done to this point is build a microeconomic model. I've played a little bit with the economic impacts. So looking at, okay, well, if this is the production in New Mexico, what are the number of jobs that we could create? Um, how many firms might we see in the industry? So I've played around with a little bit of the macro modeling, but the um, big project that we're going to be starting up in about April to May is working with Texas A&M University specifically uh, with one of their ag economists, and we are going to build um, a big model that looks at taking a firm-specific micro model or a series of those and saying, well, what if we if this works and we put this into a big model? Are we going to have impacts on food prices? Um, is it going to change the production of corn or soybean? Um, is it going to change how much we import, import from the rest of the world? And what are the impacts in the broader economy and really do what we call a computable general equilibrium model on a big scale? And roughly about one third of the state of New Mexico economy is based on energy production of fossil fuels. So we have natural infrastructure and natural resources to be able to produce energy. So the question becomes, if because of political and environmental concerns and other economic concerns, the fossil fuel industry declines in this state. What does this state do for jobs? What does this state do for economic development? And what do we do? And so it seems that green energy, which can provide a stable source of domestic secure energy, if we can do that at a cost that is at some point in time competitive with fossil fuels but has a better environmental profile, then we've solved a lot of problems and created, hopefully, good jobs and good growth in new industry in a state that really needs it.